lovelies welcome back to my channel it's your girl brie from life with brie if you're a new subscriber then welcome to the family if you're a returning subscriber then welcome back today's video for vlogmas day seven we're gonna be making sorrel juice of course and this was the night before i was prepping the sorrel i was washing them thoroughly washing them of course get rid of all the dirt and whatever gunk is on there then i hot some water you're gonna see me do all this i was just making sure it's clean am i the only person who thinks that sorrow looks so crazy like <laughs> i always say that sorrow looks so ugly but yeah i was just taking my time to wash them you know making sure they're clean and ready to be used because we're gonna be leaving it to sit overnight let it snow let it snow Water is there heating. This is Bushman and Angie. We are back Angie as usual. My three besties. I, I said that I was sick, and Angie actually called to check on me because the rain wet me yesterday when I got home from town. And yeah, she didn't answer yet because she said she was doing something. But yeah, the water's hot in. Well, it's heating, whatever the term is. <laughs> So yeah, I got wet from the rain yesterday and today I'm feeling really, really sick. This right here would be the only piece of ginger that I would be using. I don't know if you could have told, but I don't know if you could tell, but the sorrow that I was using, it was not a lot. And I personally do not like a lot of ginger in my sorrel. I don't want it to like overpower the sorrel, the flavor of the sorrel. And I was taking a bottle to pound it. And then I placed it inside of the pot with the sorrel. Let it snow. Let it snow. So. I'm just adding the sorrel to the pot. As you can see, it's not a lot, like I said before, because I won't be making a ton load right now. This is just, it's still a lot far from um, Christmas, and I know this is going to finish way before Christmas, so I'll have to make more again when it's closer to our Christmas dinner. So yeah, I have to add the ginger to that now. Let me add the ginger. I know it's early adding the ginger, but yeah, we add the ginger early. The water is hot. I would probably have to add some more water to show on it. So I'm pouring the hot water on the sour now. You have to be very careful so that the um, hot water doesn't splash up on you. I'm going to add a little, little bit more. To add. I just poured the hot water in and you could already see the color changing. <laughs> this is me adding a bit more water to this shawl and then I'm gonna add the cinnamon stick and a cup of clove. Just put the arm um, back in. Let's give it a little stir to see. I just put the hot water on it and look how much the color has how much the color has changed already see if i can get a good reveal yeah guys so come we're gonna cover this and leave it until tomorrow so guys come back to finish making the sour juice with me <laughs> all right so good morning it's the next day and you could really re this is what our um sorrel extract is looking like you could really really smell all the flavor coming from the pot it smells so so good so we're gonna strain this and make our sorrel juice yeah i have my juice cup that i'm gonna be using to pour the sorrel extract in so this is the sorrel juice it's so dark and nice i'm gonna be using this cup it doesn't really matter 
what you use you could use a cup you could use a bowl it really does not matter and yes it will drip on the it will drip on the counter from the cup i'll just wipe it after but that's okay and i just strain it strain it strain it I should have done this over the sink, but it doesn't even matter at this point. You can really, really smell all the niceness coming from this. You really, really should have done this in the um over the sink, but it's okay. It's okay, you know. That's that. <coughs> and there we have our rich sorrel juice. Whatever you prefer, if you prefer white sugar or brown sugar, then you can use either or. So I will be using some brown sugar. And of course, I am not going to be using any essence. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I don't know if anybody puts essence in there, but I just wanted to put that out there that I won't be using any essence whatsoever inside of my sorrel juice. And of course, I'm going to be adding a bit of water to this. So, yeah, let's just... Let's just mix it in. Cup of water. Right. Because we want our sarah juice to be rich. Yeah. I didn't add much. Mix that in. Mix it in. Oh my gosh, and it looks so so pretty. Alright, wash my bottles, just bottling it out. Directly from the juice cup. And this is obviously gonna it's probably gonna take like two bottles but I'm doing one bottle for now and then leave the rest the remaining in the juice cup So there you have it. There we have it. Our bottle of. I have to press this cup down because it's a new bottle and a new cover. So yeah. That's it. Sealed. And everything. I have to get the cover for this. Is, of course, our sorrow juice. So I'm done making this cereal juice. I just did a little setup for the thumbnail, right? So I use cereal, ginger, and of course the cinnamon bark. So yes, that's how you make cereal juice, simple and easy. That's how I make it. That's how I've learned to make it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video because of course I did enjoy making my cereal juice. And I'm going to enjoy drinking the cereal juice as well. <laughs> so yeah. Be sure to like, comment, and share with your friends. Yeah, subscribe.